Now, why hasn't there been any rapper commercially successful from Indianapolis yet? And think about that mm -hmm. question, because rap has been around for mm -hmm. quite some time now. And throughout all these years, through the, the East Coast movement, the mm -hmm. West Coast movement, the South movement, a little bit of the Midwest, right? Yeah. There still hasn't been any that I could think of, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that's really been commercially successful mm -hmm. from Indianapolis. As big as, I mean, they have a, uh, what, a, a baseball, I mean, a, a basketball team, yeah. the Pacers, yep. a football team, the Colts. Yep. Do they have baseball? A semi-pro team, I think. It's like the Indians. Okay, but you got two yeah. sports. So that's a big city. That's mm -hmm. a metropolitan area. Mm -hmm. Why nobody successful from Indianapolis yet? I think the issue with that is, like, everybody is quick to leave the city. Like, you know, like they want to either come to Atlanta or come to, you know, California to, and then, you know, try to rep Indiana. But, you know, there's nobody that's been trying to, you know, stay centered until now. Like, I mean, this whole year has just been prone of everybody banding together, you know, and, and, and trying to make it solid foundation in Indiana. And I feel like, I'm leading the example on that, um, you know, with the things that I'm doing. Like, I don't, I don't, you know, try to venture off and do this, this, and that unless it's for a business purpose and we make it clear that, hey, it's an untapped market. Like, I mean, it's, it, you're, you'd be dumb not to. And there's too, many, too much talent in Indiana for, you know, for it to keep getting passed up. And it's, and I think the, the, fa the factor of it all is people, are try they, they don't stay in Indiana, they leave. But think about this though, right? A lot of rappers get booked for shows mm -hmm. or hostings in Indianapolis. Yeah. And, and, and not just once, mm -hmm. they come back two, three times a year and mm -hmm. get booked, right? That's mm -hmm. a popping artist, right? Yeah. Why don't you, you would think that just naturally mm -hmm. uh, when an artist comes into town they may ask or they may see the presence of somebody doing their thing or popping, or they may ask, you know, like, I, I, I'm a DJ, so mm -hmm. when I go and DJ at a city that I'm booked for, yeah. I'm gonna call a couple DJs that I know in that city or around that city, I'm gonna ask, what's the hottest music mm -hmm. right now? And then I, if I don't hear somebody locally or new that's I've never heard of, I'm gonna say, so who's the hottest local artist mm -hmm. out? That, you know, because I might wanna play a song. Yeah. I might wanna, you know, show the city of that, home, of that hometown that they're from. Yeah. Like, yo, I'm going to rep or spin one of your, your guys' shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So don't you think that would, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, th I mean, that as plays many up. rappers that come in Indianapolis, why hasn't somebody scooped somebody up, put them on the team, put them as part of the clique, that sort of thing? Uh, usually, you know, like as far as when it comes to DJs there locally, they don't really support, they wasn't supporting e no local music at all. Why? I don't know. But uh, this past, you know, the past few months now, they've gradually started coming in terms on it. But they don't, you know, like just the, the state in whole, if there's, you know, other than artists, people that surround the artists that are in the music industry, as far as like the DJs and stuff like that, they don't support us. So I think that plays, you know, that's a, that's a big factor. I mean, you can't, a, a DJ and an artist, I mean, those are two big factors. And if you, if you don't got the local, the, even the local radio stations up, up to like, recently trying to do that i mean this next year it could be a little bit a different story but as far as up to this point no like there was no support from any of the local radio stations maybe the talent's not good enough the maybe talent the, the, the talent, talent's not up to par the talent's there is just all about it's it's about you know like money to them is what i'm you know coming to find out it's all about money what instead of just off of you know talent raw talent i'm not going to say too much because i'm not trying to get people you know fired from their jobs but at the end of the day, it's all about money. If you got money to give somebody, bam, your, your stuff could get, you know, smacked wherever. Yeah, but aside from that, though, I believe, right, in my personal mm -hmm. opinion, I think if somebody has a true hit record yeah. or a record that sounds good, I think something like that can get into the right ears, mm -hmm. heard by the right ears, or in the right hands. Mm -hmm. Because if you think about it, if something sounds good mm -hmm. and has the potential to make money, I would think somebody, an investor, somebody with money, mm -hmm. would want to take something like that and pump it up for it to make money in the long run. Yeah, that actually just happened today with me. 
you know, and, and it boils down to having a good manager too. And, you know, that's part of the reason why we're here because we had a meeting, you know, earlier today and everything we wanted in that meeting is, is about to happen. You're talking about being in Atlanta. Yeah. And but, I mean, that's, but that's to get that, the extra push, but we made it clear it's the, the focal point is Indiana. Once we bust that door open, then, you know, we can, people are coming with me. But that's why I ask if it's a talent issue, because, you know, I just believe a good natural sounding record mm -hmm. has the potential to make money, right? Yeah. It's Organically. So yeah. if something sounds good, I would think, and people are money hungry mm -hmm. and people have money to invest and spend. So I would think that if something sounds good enough, mm -hmm. if there's no money backing it, somebody's going to want to attach mm -hmm. themselves to it to make it make money. Mm -hmm. And that's why I ask if it's I a I just think, thing. no, it's, there's, some, there's talented people in Indiana, for sure. And it's just, you know, it boils down to I don't think things are getting, because Indiana in general, like, we're, we're behind on stuff. So, like, you know, as far as getting music out social-wise, like, I don't know if people could be slacking on that, but there's, there's you know, we got some top, we, we, you know, five top hitters from Indiana that I could see easily getting, uh, that I'm, I'm still baffled on why they don't have a deal. Okay. So, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. It's just there's a lot of things behind the scenes on a local page that our own, you know, we don't even get supported by our own, you know, radio stations except to up to this point. So you get supported in, you, you can get supported here in Atlanta. It's just, you know, a corporate, a super tight knit corporate thing, I guess. I don't know. But as far as, like you said, a, a track getting out there, I mean, I, I don't know, but I know my situation and what's about to come from that. So like, may, we hopefully we'll be able to do a follow up interview and I can say, hey, this is what, you know, is going on now with, you know, the terms of what happened today. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of great talented artists from Indiana. And not only the money thing, I just think, you know, word of mouth also spreads. Yeah. Real word of mouth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, if somebody asks you, hey, how was that movie? If mm -hmm. your best friend asks you, and you've seen a movie, and he asks you, how was that movie? Mm -hmm. You're going to give him your honest opinion, right? Mm -hmm. And he's going to probably take that opinion into serious consideration, being that you guys are best friends. Yeah. Right? Yep. So I just think that even if a record doesn't have, have legs money-wise, mm -hmm. I just think a good-sounding record would just get passed around. Mm -hmm. And people would just, it, it would almost get to a point where a DJ would have to play something because it's just being requested organically mm -hmm. or passed around organically. Like, mm -hmm. I, that's, that's just what I mean, I that's what actually is happening now. There's been now. plenty of records that I personally never liked, mm -hmm. but because the people wanted to hear it in the club, I was almost forced to play it. Mm -hmm. I might not personally like it, but mm -hmm. because you like it, I'll play it. Yeah, I mean, like, since we're on the topic of that, you know, it's not all about me. It's about this, you know, like, obviously the state of Indiana. And I mean, like, like I said, up to this point, like Space Dad, he's been on the show, hit that slap bacon. You know, it's it's the radio. He got people requesting it. Bam, like they're playing it. They throw it in mixes and he actually just got a prime time spin on it. So, I mean, like now, you know, like it. that's all I'm saying. It would be a different story here in the next year easily. I, I can guarantee you that from, you know, somebody blowing up. But, you know, I, I, feel, I think that now is the time that people have, like, woke subconsciously and are in, okay, it clicks now, so let's do this. Because at first it was like trying to pull the next man down, like, you know, a competition. But, I mean, you know, there's competition, but I look at it as friendly competition. Let's, let's just pull together as a team and make it happen. And that's, you know, leading by example and pushing the next man is going to keep bettering, every, and that's what's been going on in Indy. So, you know, as far as the, you know, the radio stations there, they don't support us at all up, up till now, like recently in the last week, um, you know, Space Dad, shout out to Space Dad, you know, he's getting some plays on, on the radio here. I, I mean, uh, you know, Indy. So, um, I mean, we'll, you know, it'll be a different story, you know, I guarantee you in about a year, if that, uh, with some stuff and that, you know, the word of mouth thing, that's my name got thrown out there you know, on the internet, and that's how I ended up here in, you know, um, Atlanta for a meeting. I'm not going to, you know, go into a whole lot of elaboration on that, but, you know, there's some things that are really about to shake with that.